So exciting stuff. Module 23 is now on the preview server. With it, we can see in the collections a whole bunch of new stuff. We have seen before this preview of the mythic gear, and that is barely any of what we're actually going to be obtaining. We can see over here in Dragon Ball and Veil, so module 23 will be an expansion onto that. Unlikely we get a new area, just a bunch of hunts, which I'm actually going to check out in a live stream just a little bit later, continuing on this quest line starting here at Sergeant Knox. They also seem to have added in a new section just here, most likely for the hunts. And wow, it definitely gives Barovia vibes with those wagons and the caravans like the traveling Vistani fellas. We can have a store here. Doesn't seem to say anything to me just yet. This guy over here. Also, I am assume we have to go and complete those quests. But you can see those pieces of the dragons they're using. Some of those crossbows and the bastilets and so on. Really cool. Now, first things first. What new gear is available, you say? Well, you can see here we get this new clothing. Which are going to be shirt and pants, which I can actually purchase in the Wondrous Bazaar. Just here, we can mess around with builds. Here's all the mythic gear, spoilers. And we can go and buy, let's say, a set. You can get the pants there as well with some offensive stats and overall that's really good but in my opinion it's not going to be a very competitive set as you can see it gives you a bonus there of 1500 power crit severity and awareness when combined not as good in my opinion as just running this for a five percent combat advantage then we can see in the collections, so that's just that bunch there. The rest is what we've already seen before. We have over accessories, we have a bunch of new rings. We can see this one giving us 8% damage to Atwills. It's okay. 5% bonus damage against dragons. 6% extra critical strike when your HP is full. When you stand still, you gain outgoing healing and action point gain. Good for a healer. A 5% less damage taken from dragons. A tanking ring. And then... 5% encounter power damage, and then 5% forte when moving. And when you've been running for two seconds, you reduce the threat you generate. Pretty useless ring in my opinion. 10% to daily power damage, and then your powers will deal up to 4% more damage if you're 50 feet or further away from your target. And finally, a ring that gives you 3% more damage when you're 25 feet or closer to your target. And the rest of the rings we've seen before, again from Dragonbone Veil. Nothing really special there in my opinion, except perhaps this critical strike ring that you might want to use instead of the red eyes glare. Band of Airs, most likely still going to be best in slot. Then we have over here, we have a bunch of this gear you can get from killing the dragons in the hunt. There's all purple stuff. None of it's any good, in my opinion, from going over it on the Albert server and they don't seem to have changed anything here you have something like this old switcheroo giving you that critical strike but you know where you want to sacrifice that much combat advantage and overall the real deal is this spoils of fierce dragons the mythic gear and you're getting a whole bunch more i'll go over it in the wondrous bazaar real quick for you guys since they're kind of divided up in different sets so you have like the sharp set here so you have the headpiece giving the same as gristro horns but stacks of crit severity instead the sharp jacket pretty useless in my opinion reducing your awareness increasing your crit severity these arms basically giving you extra power and critical avoidance when you 50 feet or further away also pretty useless these boots giving you five percent extra damage but reducing your critical avoidance by 30 percent still think the wasteland wanderers are the best bet there then we go to the tactful set and this is essentially giving you seven percent power when you're basically only fighting one enemy the armor this is your new rib cage this is what we'll be buying and we'll be slotting in this so you can see gives us crit strike and crit severity of 2.5 percent the gloves there give you this recharge speed but the 30 second cooldown makes it pretty useless and the boots giving you power when your action points are full also in my opinion pretty useless and then we have the mighty set here so we have the helmet giving you seven percent combat advantage when you're only against one enemy the armor this is being the other rib cage so you guys will be happy that this one is actually existing there's 2.5 percent accuracy and the 2.5 percent combat advantage that's great that we're having this one but we're also having it with the newer rib cage just higher item level one so you guys are definitely gonna be happy with that those of you who were a bit of an outcry that this thing was gonna be gone and then we get these van bracers you can see here so giving us essentially what we've had before with the spiked defender van braces extra damage resistance 
attacks and then they convert to damage. And then the boots here giving you the extra 3% damage but reducing your maximum hit points. Again, in my opinion, pretty useless. Then we have the Ser Serenade Hood, which is going to be a replacement of the Gristral Horns. Unfortunately, the stats on it are pretty garbage, but the Gristral Horns aren't much better. And then we have the armor there, which also seems pretty useless. It'll just give you a little bit of critical chance the longer you are in combat. And the arms will give you the essentially whenever you heal somebody, you will gain stacks of power and crit strike. It's okay for a healer right there and the boots also very good for a healer giving you extra power when your health's over 85 percent then we have here the superior set another one giving seven percent crit strike when against one enemy this breastplate giving you outgoing healing stacks and then giving your allies forte it's exactly like the rain one you would have from Voss. These arms, when you have no teammates within 30 feet, you gain power and defense, exactly like from Infinite Avernus again. And this one, boots giving you increased outgoing healing, but decreasing your incoming healing. Could be a useful option, 5% though only. And then you have the rugged set, which is going to be for your tanks. Basically, when you deal combat advantage, you have a chance to essentially gain the stacks of deflection and deflect severity. The armor essentially giving you stacks of awareness and stamina regen. And the arms giving you like the shielded defender van braces or the ones from Voss giving you damage stacks and that converts to damage resistance when you're hit and these boots like the wisps of the shadow demon so we have a bunch of upgrades there for tanks healers and a few for dps but not much for me all i would take off this new gear is going to be this headpiece and this rib cage and that's essentially it for my build that would be the only upgrades for tank it would be a good bit different there's definitely a few more options and what i like to go over now is actually the new sets that are coming out we can see way down the bottom here after the shirt and pants that we have these kind of dragon hide sets you can see they give aggressive alacrity so you have one here which gives us let's move this over here it gives us these crit severity and movement speed stacks much like the stronghold set but it's going to be 2.5 percent stacking up to three times you're gonna to have to use encounter powers to do this this one's giving combat advantage instead this one's giving crit strike and this one's giving awareness and that's that there and then you have the five artifacts to go with it again unfortunately only the black dragon artifact is going to be good as like a primary the rest i guess you'll just use as secondary to complete your sets they don't really have anything special the black one is reducing your enemy's damage resistance so that's excellent there for improving your party's damage overall that's pretty much all we can see but we can also see that in the campaign section tyranny of dragons now is now being converted to an adventure those of us who've completed tyranny of dragons and have those of us who have completed Tyranny of Dragons as a legacy campaign, you'll note that you'll only get one extra boom point from this. This, in my opinion, is great news. Tyranny of Dragons was such a pain to grind out. Those of you who've just finished the grind are going to be a little bit peeved, but alas, it is what it is. You had fun playing it and you took the risk that they might change it any time. You're just going to have to complete a bunch of quests, which I assume we'll go through later. But interestingly enough, you get some pretty good rewards. You can see this dragon protection supplies. You can see obtains mythic dragon slaying potions and mythic scrolls of protection against dragons rank five so potentially they're going to give 10 percent you can see you have legendary ones and there's also epic ones on purple and just to confirm yes these mythic potions will be giving us you can see 10 percent extra damage and the scrolls 10 percent extra damage resistance so that's going to be great that we will be able to obtain these again and then you can also get this eternal armor set and otherwise that's it 100,000 rough astral diamonds. I don't believe we can see the eternal set at all. Potentially it's here. You get this legendary fashion as well, which is I'm pretty sure you could obtain it before. They've just upgraded. But the eternal set is going to be just here. Yeah, it's already in existence and you'll be able to pick that up. It does look quite cool and all fiery. Overall, really excited to get into these dragon hunts and see what they're about. We can see a slight a bit of information about them in the collections again we go to dragon bone veil just here all the way to the end and you can see the different reagents you're going to have to farm essentially you're going to use mo 
modifiers and you're going to kill different types of dragons and they'll drop these and what's very nice is that these epic pieces most likely for the mythic gear will be able to have a guaranteed drop chance when you use like a tier three modifiers for your fight so you might have a very challenging fight but once you complete it it might take you a bit longer than just the other ones you at least have a hundred percent chance to drop the item you need and potentially these items are used to craft this gear and that's most likely what the case is going to be and then potentially this other purple gear will just drop from the dragons once you kill them and just adding this part in here at the end we can look at the queues and you will be able to join dragon hunts actually through a queue so there won't be a new map or anything other than these instance maps so that's going to be great because it's going to be something private then and then you can use these hunt modifiers to essentially give you these different benefits not sure exactly how this is going to work we're going to find that out a little bit later but you have the young dragons the adult dragons and the ancient dragons they do have some item level requirements there of 18,000, 20,000 and 22,000. Overall that's going to be it for my video today and I'm going to go over a stream a little bit later after this, vi after this video is posted and you can tune into that and we can see what these dragon fights are all about. It should be some excitement. Hopefully I'm not too disappointed but you know how cryptic is. You generally don't want to expect too much. Otherwise, this is all preview server. All everything's open to change. Not that they change much. But if there's bugs and things and we report them or there's something we really consider is pointless or useless or just a hindrance, then they may change it if they get repeated feedback on that. With that said, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I present this well, consider leaving a video like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.